Hello, Burberry Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Hills, and welcome to another day full of tea. It is Sunday. It is the Lord's Day. It is the day that you are not supposed to do absolutely anything other than chill, relax, caught up on your favorite Bravo shows, caught up on everything that is happening with uh, the tea over here, you know, and I am going to be giving you everything that you want, okay? Um, guys, before we start, if you are new here, welcome to the Beverly Troop where we keep it real. We mention it all. We talk about Bravo, reality TV, pop culture, like whatever we have it. So you know what to do. Subscribe, 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 and I hit the notification bell, guys. Um, so I wanted to talk, first of all, before we start, I drop a new episode of my podcast. Let's talk about this mess. And I drop it yesterday, okay? You can he listen to it for free on a Spotify. Or if you want to catch the video version, go to my Patreon. The link for everything is on the description below. If you are in a Spotify, do not forget to subscribe to the podcast. It's free. You know, and you will get all the tea all the time. I had a very special uh, guest, and we he's very, very much connected to the Vanderpump Rules uh, world. So if you are into Vanderpump Rules, believe me, you do not want to miss this interview, okay? Go and check it out. All right, guys. <clears throat> now, it is time to talk about Vanderpump Rules precisely, you know, although now I think we need to start calling it The Valley, you know? Um, because we need to talk about one of the stars, Mr. Jax Taylor, okay? Apparently, there is still going to be a couple episodes before we saw, uh, we see Jax Taylor on Vanderpump Rules. Now, we know for a fact that season, I'm sorry, episode 8 of Vanderpump Rules is where we're going to be getting a super size episode that it will def it will be the transition from Vanderpump Rules to the Valley. So on that episode for sure we are going to be seeing Jack Taylor return, right? Uh but we I mean what we do not know is uh, like if he's going to be present before that episode, you know, or is just going to be on that episode to create you know, the transition to the other one, you know? So anyways, I'm very excited. I have to tell you, I'm very excited for this new reality show because if there is anyone on the Bravo verse who is meant to be on reality TV, is Jack Taylor, you know? I don't know if you like it or not. I don't know, whatever. But this guy, girl, you know that he will give us great reality tv so i'm here for it i'm here for uh to support the new show i'm i'm kind of like eager also to to get new blood to get these new people you know and also the return of chris and Doty. i mean just like chris and Doty and jack Taylor. like what else i mean the only thing that i need is stassi back and that will be like the perfect show right there a lot of people also say like hey why don't you like re like to bravo like or lisa like why don't you just reboot Vanderpump Rules and maybe move uh, Sheena and Lala to the Valley, you know, because they have kids and apparently the Valley is going to be more of like a, like these couples with kids, you know, kind of like a real housewife of the San Fernando Valley, you know, so uh, it's going to be kind of like interesting, but I don't know, you know, and there's a like reboot Vanderpump Rules with new kids, which to be very honest with you, I will totally be down for it. But let's let's wanna see. Let's take it step by step, baby steps, right? Well, the valley has not started yet, and we are already getting tea, tea about Mr. Jax Taylor. So brace yourself because the streets are talking, you know, the streets of San Fernando Valley are talking, and apparently, allegedly, they are trying to say that Jax Taylor is no longer together with Brittany Cartwright, and I'm like, what? What do you mean? What? What is this? What is going on? You know, they're saying, the rumor is that Jax is no longer living with Brittany. You know, so I'm going to read you first the rumor in itself. This is coming from Reddit, you know, and it says Jax and Brittany living separately. 
what what everyone thoughts on this it's been some time now that we have noticed them not living together since jacks went on that bender with the toms britney's been living in a random house and they no longer post together i think at first it, it was tough i know it was wait what I, th I think at first it was though that this was a ploy to get people to watch their new Valley show, but I am not so convinced. It is possible that they have actually broken up for real and it won't be a good look for the new show since they are the glue that keep the group together. Did Brittany finally leave Jax? Girl. I don't know. I don't think so, to be very honest with you. I think that they are very much, like, together. It will be a huge thing to start the show uh, and, and uh, like, start that show like that because the first season was already filmed, but it will already be giving us a second season. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we will be already thinking, like, oh, my God, why are they not together? What happened? Like, you know what are all of this? Um, Jack Taylor did respond on, you know, on X. And I wanted to read you. It, it says, uh, it's him. It's him a Brit and Brittany no longer together anymore. And Jack's reply, why would you say that? I can't. I, I can't take a trip without my wife for work. And and people are saying, gossip sites are saying that you cheated. It's all over the news and every social media outlet. Uh, there are rumors going around. You had another Vegas fiasco, which honestly will be great for ratings, but horrible for a family to go through. Uh, and then someone says that uh, another YouTuber is saying that you guys are split. And uh, now Mr. Jack Taylor responds and says, wow, after everything that happened, seriously. Well, I don't know. After a scandal, anything is possible, but... I have to say that I do follow Jax, I follow Brittany, you know, and I have seen them, you know, post together, you know, do things together. I don't know. I don't know. I know that Jax is right now in Toronto with Tom Schwartz, uh, but I feel that, that, that Jax, if this will have been happening, I feel that Jax will be like, yes, we are, you know, or like we are separated or whatever, you know. And like I'm telling you, it's not about look for the show because it will give great ratings for the first season. Everyone wanted to see, like, you know, investigate the cracks in the relationship and automatically will give you a second season because now we all want to watch the reunion. We all will want to watch, you know, what is going to happen next, you know, and all of that. So, like, it will be actually dumb to hide it if it really happening you know what i mean so i don't know i don't know I'm, i mean for now i i don't think it's true i think that some people are trying to start a mess you know out there and um i feel that we should just leave them alone because like jacks finally found you know what makes him happy you know and i think he is in such a different place in his life you know and i think with the new show people are gonna want to see the old jacks that we were used to on vanderpump rules and i feel that even though jacks will always be jacks i think he is definitely a different person now than what he was back then i don't know so anyways let me know what you guys think on the comments below and if you want to get all the tea related to vanderpump rules the valley or any of the other bravo shows make sure to like this video Share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.